Bye bye, Samsung. I've been with Samsung since 2010. I bought the Galaxy S4G, the S3, the S5, the S7. But a lot of you, a lot of you have been saying that I've been too hard on Apple. And after years and years of all of you saying that I've been too hard on Apple, well, maybe I have been. So I decided to convert. I decided to try out the ecosystem. And here, I have an iPhone XS or XS, however it is you're supposed to say it. And I've decided to forgive Apple for the years and years of devices that they have not produced properly. From the iPhone 6 with the Touch IC issues, to the iPhone 6S that would randomly turn off, to the iPhone 7 that would have no service or audio IC boot looping, to the iPhone 8 that would randomly crash. After all of these problems, I decided, in spite of that, I am still going to listen to the criticism of my users and give Apple a chance. So I decided to go out today and convert to an iPhone XS Max with 512 gigabytes of internal storage. This phone is $1,449 over $1,500 after tax. The thing is, I want to show you how great this phone works. I want to show you how much better it is than this crappy Samsung S7 that I've been stuck using for the past few years. So I'm going to try it, which means that I have to show you how beautifully this phone works. Unfortunately, I think the battery, the battery might not be as high as the Samsung, which makes it an unfair comparison. As you can see here, my Samsung is at 56% right now. 56%. But the iPhone may not be as a, at a, as high a percentage. And as many of you know, phones can sometimes work slower when the battery is not at the same percentage. And I want this to be a fair comparison. So I just need to charge up my phone here, and uh, then we'll get to work. So here, I just, just make sure my, my outlet is working the way it's supposed to. So I got my multimeter here in AC mode. And let's see, do we have an electrical outlet that works? And... Oh, damn, here we go. So it looks like we got 120 volts. 120 volts that's coming out of my electrical outlet over here. So I'm just going to take this OEM Apple charger. You can see here, because we, we believe in using OEM chargers here. None of that, none of that cheap Amazon shit. I'm just going to plug that in here. We're going to take a nice, nice lightning cable that I have tested and used for many data recoveries in the past, and we're just going to plug that in. And we're going to make sure that we can get this device. All right. Let's just, uh, let's just make sure that this thing's charging now. So I want to make sure that it catches up to the Samsung. So let's see. How f wow. My God. Apple has done it again. They, I get it now. They're trying to be green. This is, envi this is an environmentally, environmentally friendly phone. This is way better than my Samsung. Because when this thing piece of crap charges, it uses power. Sam's, wow, the revol, it, it's so, my God, they've done it again. They've revolutionized the industry. Because I thought that Samsung revolutionized the industry when they had wireless charging, where I could simply put the phone down into a dock like this, and it would start charging. But Apple, Apple has managed to do something even, even crazier. They've managed to create a device that charges without using energy. Try and wrap your mind around that shit, folks. God damn. I am so glad I switched over to an iPhone XS. I am going to save so much on my electric bill. I am going to save so much on power. Because right now at this store, what other Apple devices can we get, Daniel? Because my electric bill is $600 a month right now. I have, I have this, this damn air conditioner over here. That takes a bunch of power. I've got... My I've got the Zalmo over here. This takes a lot of power. But imagine how much money I could save if every device in the store had the same efficiency as an Apple product. Wow. And let, 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 let's, 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 let's see. Let's check out how this thing's working, baby. All right. So, let's see. Is it still going? God damn, this is an efficient phone. Five volts, zero amps. Look at it. Wow. Huh. It woke up. It's charging. Oh, no. My theory is wrong. Now it's charging. Huh. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I'll just, uh, just going to unplug this thing for a second. Let's just uh, make sure this is... I'm just going to put this thing down on the desk. There's my... All righty. 
Let's try this thing again. Hmm. It says it's 76 degrees in my neighborhood. Pretty nice. Let's just make sure that I still got electricity here. I just want to... Wham. If only Con Edison knew of these f fucking amazing improvements in technology. The money that we would save. Damn microprobes. Come on. Good little microprobe. Right. Got 120 volts there. All righty. Good stuff. We're just going to plug that adapter back into this phone. Let's see. Let's, let's see what we get. Let's try this again. Just make sure. All righty. Get me a Samsung charger and a Samsung charge cable. I just want to see if the Samsung phone that I have can match this excellent efficiency. Right, Let's see if we match the same level of advancement here on my Android phone, which I bet it ain't. I bet the Samsung Relic isn't going to have the same innovation and ecosystem that you get with an Apple product. Let's see. Okay, we got this phone. I'm going to plug in the Samsung right here. As you can see, it says it's charging. But the Samsung phone, being the piece of crap copycat company that they are, that can't innovate for shit, is using 0.6 amps. Now it's using what? 9 volts, 1 amp? 9 volts, 1 amp. Wow. And the Apple phone is still using zero amps but you may think look at that what oh oh so that that must be the that must be the what they're getting at okay so the way that the iphone 10s saves power is it only charges while you're using it because you don't why would you want to charge the phone when you're not even using it what a waste of energy man i am so glad i switched to an iphone 10s 10 max damn that was well worth $1,500. It's a fucking innovation, man. All right. I'm going to go on and fix some things, but I'm going to be so happy knowing that I'm going to save so much power throughout this entire store now. It's great. It's great.